Hello YouTube, and today I'll be showing you how to put a bit of performance increase on your computer. And I am using Windows 8 at the moment, and this is my new laptop, yeah, the one I've been waiting for. And basically, let's start us off with, oh, I'm using Windows 8, it works with Windows 7 exactly the same. You go to start, you type in control panel, and then once you're on control panel, you would put this into category because it's easier. You go to system and security. But first, we're going to check the amount of RAM we have. So, mine's 6 gigabytes, plus when it's blah blah blah. Usable. And go back and then first, oops, sorry, we're going to go into command prompt. Command prompt and type in msconfig and command prompt. And then you go to the services, and this sometimes in, um, improves it depending on what stuff you know, you, what you know you need, and what you don't want. So be careful what you take off because some of it you need it to, you need some of it to actually run your computer. So like most of the most of the Microsoft stuff you need on here. Stop some, stop some of it as you can see. Uh huh. Well, and then you should do what you want, you be very careful with all of this. And then the next thing is, this is for Intel users. And then we'll go down for this little arrow here in, on your taskbar place. And click on it, and there's this thing called Intel HD Graphics. You're going to click on it, and go back, and then go on to Graphics Properties. It's going to take, it's going to take a t tiny bit long. I'm not, don't worry, good idea, but not anymore. And you click OK. Sometimes it takes a bit long. This is just your display, like if you're going to if you're using monitors and everything. So like monitor, look monitor, like if you're using TV. But mine that's 4K because I haven't set it up. And then what you're going to want to do is go to 3D, and you should find this little triangle here in the middle. But what you want to do is just click literally, just click there, click apply, click OK. And then go to power, and this should be here. Just click on maximum performance. Okay, okay. And this last thing I'm going to show you, which I'm not going to do, well, I'll show you how to do it first. Go back onto here, and then once you've done that, you go to advanced system settings, and you go to advanced performance, you click settings. And then this is usually for Windows 7 and under, because with Windows 8 it just looks a bit dodgy. Um, you would click just for best performance and click apply and then OK. I'll probably show you what it looks like. It's a bit rubbish in Windows 8 because you can't see the difference. But it makes it a bit glitchier. But my, uh, some of the letters can be a bit dodgy, not all of them. So like here, it's a bit tiny bit blurry on my screen, but not, probably not for you. I'm just putting mine back to normal. And then, what else do I need to show you? Look, they're showing you in this country. Yeah, but in the stop services that you don't need. And the other thing, so if you want to run a game smoothly with your settings, like right, say if I want to run Star Wars The Old Republic, the MMO, you would right click on it. Well, this you can do this with any program. Go to properties, compatibility, and then click. Run this program in compatibility for and then choose your operating system. If you're Windows 7, it'll be 7, just so you use any of these, any of these. So take mine off. And then you would usually, if you want it to be good, you would do that. Uh, or not like Windows 7, I'm not used to this. And probably you would just do this, you would disable that, run the other admin, and press OK. And then the last thing is to download this program. Game Booster. But this one here is the, probably the best one. I think it's Game Booster, just download it and you can do it. And that's what it basically does. It disables most, well, nearly all your stuff. So you can get good performance whilst everything blows up. So 
So like I'm just going to stop on it. Basically just wait for it to load. And then, sorry, not when it comes up black like it's um open and admin thing. And this will come up, raise the Android for download, yes. Make sure to do this. Sometimes it installs the bollocks that you don't need. Open it. Sorry, I haven't, I haven't set the default for setup on my computer now. Find it, installed it properly. I'll just pause this until it take uh, until it's finished. Okay, it's done. There we go. Just wait for it to load up. Initializing. Oh god, just you you have to what's it called? Um do whatever you know. Uh enter your details to log into it. So you can like get the updates. And then you would just select one of your games. Uh, any one of them I'm not going to do yet. And then you click launch. Another thing is to diagnose your whole computer to see what can be improved. Some tools, you can defrag things. Like defrag your game so they run smoother. Do I need any drive? And it checks if you need any game like drivers. Which I did not want to click on. There's no need to see that no drivers on it all. And that's it. If that's YouTube, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.